seeing a lot of people kind of casually coming on to my uh, channel on Instagram and just dropping a comment, you know, none of this stuff matters. The only thing that works for reflux is the carnivore diet. Now I can tell you confidently uh, by looking at all the studies that I've looked at that this is absolute garbage. Uh, one of the reasons is if you're eating exclusively meat, then you're not eating any uh, vegetable, fruit, seeds, nuts, legumes, and those are the primary sources and diverse sources of fiber. And you need fiber, not a question, not debated, um, in order to fuel all the important activities in your body, creating energy for your cells, um, for handling the anti-inflammatory processes, which are paramount when you're dealing with gut health issues, for creating and synthesizing hormones that control your digestive system, for modulating and supporting your immune system. If you're not eating fiber, this is the reason that your gut health is going to the tubes and the reason that you've got acid, that you've got acid reflux and you'll begin to develop many other diseases that are downstream of this as well. So do not buy into that hype. Recently, I've been seeing all right, guys, I've been once again asked to respond to a, you know, a nonsense filled uh, video here. This this time from uh, a guy who calls himself the acid reflux guy, the reflux guy. And he's talking about uh, like the carnivore diet is not good for reflux and you should avoid it at all costs and eat basic plant based nonsense. And I've got a little black eye from jujitsu in case anybody was wondering. But um, so his his sort of uh, thought is that, you know, carnivore will not work for reflux uh, and that, uh, you know, you need fiber and it's incontrovertible. There's no, there's no argument, end of discussion, right? And so what I will say is that um, not only, in fact, just today, I talked to yet another person who basically got rid of lifelong reflux, including with, with, with a high little hernia, which makes it worse by going carnivore. I, my, myself personally used to have pretty bad reflux. That has gone away and it's gone away for now, something like eight years. Uh, since I've been on carnivore, I see that every single day the carnivore does absolutely help with reflux. Why might it do so? And we think about what is acid reflux. Well, it's acid is supposed to be in the stomach going up into our esophagus. Now, how does it get there? Well, it's not supposed to go there. We have a little valve called the lower esophageal sphincter, which he talks about in his stuff. And, you know, uh, kudos to him. He talks about removing uh, refined sugars and refined oils, great things. But, you know, then his emphasis on the plant-based fiber goes into the religious sort of realm, the, the, the nonsense. But and that valve is subject to pressure. When the pressure exceeds the integrity of the valve, the valve opens up and then the acid gets up into the esophagus. So what's driving that pressure, you might ask? Well, mainly two things. One is you just stu shove too much food, too much volume uh, into the stomach and, and the stomach has to you know deal with that. So eating a lot, a lot of food certainly causes that. The other thing is gas pressure. You know, when we develop bloating and gas, not only does it come out the rear end, but it also goes up. You know, it goes uh, whichever way it can go. And so that cr constant pressure from gas uh, will often exceed the capacity of this valve to hold place and then eventually weakens and gets to where it doesn't protect as well as it's supposed to. And where does that gas come from? Well, it comes from ferment fermentable foods, fiber for one sugars, things like that. Now, in the context of a carnivore diet, sometimes excessive fat or rendered fat can also have the same sort of effect, producing gas and bloating. So typically, if you have a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, or you overconsume uh, a large amount of food, you're going to end up with reflux. Now, carnivore very often gets rid of all of those problems. You know, we don't have the fermentable foods, of course, uh, if we're sort of uh, intelligent about our fat consumption, that also happens. So carnivore absolutely can help, but the idea that you know, you must have fiber. This is the other funny thing he says. He says, fiber is our source of energy. And, you know, I'm like, no, carbohydrates and fats are probably our, primarily our source of energy. Fiber, we have a very small capacity to convert some of that fiber through our microbiome, particularly in our colon, to a small amount of short-chain fatty acids. Estimates, uh, estimates are around 200 calories per day is what the human capacity is. So certainly... Uh, 200 calories is not the majority of our energy requirements, only a small portion of probably not even 10% for most people. So again, complete nonsense. You know, all these people trying to dissuade you from doing carnivore, pushing the beans and legumes nonsense, which uh, may work for some people for a short period of time. Carnivore absolutely will help with uh, reflux. It's, you know, I mean, 
Maybe some of you guys will comment on your experience with reflux with carnivore. Mine has been generally very, very positive. Um, but anyway, this is another, you know, kind of a joker that is uh, trying to demonize or, you know, uh, denigrate carnivore, likely due to some uh, plant-based ideology. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.